Hi baddies back with another video and today I am talking about a very important topic which no other badminton player or youtuber will make a video on that is outdoor badminton sessions so basically badminton is a costly game because it indeed ask you to have some great shoes some good rackets a subscription of any indoor court and many other things so it's a costly game overall but uh, people are often fond of this game i can say that badminton is the second most played game in india i don't know about the world but is it is the second most played game in the country after uh, cricket because you will get equipment like a badminton racket of 100 to 200 rupees close to 2 to 3 dollars you will get two badminton very basic badminton rackets and 10 rupee shuttle so that's not very costly and that will serve the purpose but people are often playing outdoors and i have seen many players who are very skilled they are playing outdoors so today i'm here to give you some tips of what you need and do's and don'ts of playing outdoor um, badminton first of all if guys you are very serious about your game and if you think that you are skilled and your age is not beyond 20 to 22 I recommend you to go to the indoor court yes it will demand some financial asset from you but if you want to be a player if you want to represent your country or your state or your district or city as well and if you want sponsorship if you want to make money out of the sports first of all if you want to play a sports you need to have it have it as a love then you can earn money because sports is not like a thing like you can earn money from sports so you have to love the sports but if you are just playing for fun and all then outdoor badminton demands many things like in the indoor courts you will only have to worry about the drift but on the outdoor courts wind can take the shuttle to any corner of outdoor court so it's very important for the wind to be very stable for the outdoor player and that's a pain in the ass of any outdoor player and i've also faced it three to four years before so let's start our topic and foremost thing is the outdoor court so if you are playing on the muddy surface like on a soil and also if you are playing on a cemented surface or a road so if you are playing on a muddy surface or a soil so what you need to do is when you play like if you are playing at 7 pm in the evening you need to water the soil uh, 3 or 4 hours prior to a session so it's all soaked up like your um, everything is soaked up and then when you play so the, uh, the dust it does not blow if it will blow then it will just make you muddy and also you may end up getting your shuttle uh, muddy and if it will get muddy the trajectory of the shuttle will change and it will change such that you will start to hate the game so that's not worth recommending you have to get a surface which is very even on a muddy surface also the muddy surface is one thing very common is like there are path holes there are some holes so you need to fill it if you won't then there is a chance that if you get your legs, legs stuck like in badminton this is a very demanding sport you have to hit it from many angles so if you get your legs stuck in any path hole you will end up breaking your bone of the leg that's not recommended okay and also if you are playing on an outdoor court outdoor court i am really sorry like on a, uh, a cemented cemented court so you need to make sure that all the leaves and all and also any stem of the tree that's all cleared like there is nothing on the coat and if it will be you may slip so this is also recommended just don't have anything on the coat and also if you can water the coat before the game just uh, make sure that the cemented coat is not it does not have any water if it will have you will slip so these are the basic things which you should need to make sure if you're playing on the road 
then that's uh, not a problem you can't do anything about that also about the net you i can say that you can also buy a net but that portable net that will cost you 4000 rupees i'll give you a link in the description but of course i know guys if you are playing outdoors that means you are budget friendly so i know that you won't purchase the net but still i have i have a link in the description the portable net if you want now we talk about the shoe what shoe you need to wear on the outdoor coat so these are my shoe these are not the non marking shoe so first you need to make sure is your shoe is very very light okay and it is flexible like this plus your sole should be very elastic like when you take the aerial route when you take the jump smash as i said badminton is a demanding sport uh, you will step like this step on the court like this so you need to have a very elastic shoe this is not a non marking shoe and for outdoor court you don't need a non marking shoe because that will not serve the purpose and that may also cause an injury so that's not recommended what is recommended is a shoe with a very elastic sole and plus what you can do is you can have this cushions these cushions and you can just apply it like this okay so you will get complete support in your ankle and when you will hit a jump smash uh, you can take the jump to very high levels like on the outdoor court on the muddy or on the cemented court your movement will be restricted but on the indoor courts that is wood so when you take the aerial route it is uh, like it will give you the uh, balance and it will give you the uh, opposite friction so you can take a long jump but not on the outdoor court so for taking that you can apply this and it will make a bit you can say spongy so you can take the jump high so this is recommended for the players who do jump smashes and who moves a lot and badminton is a sport which demands a lot of movement so this is recommended so i'll also give you a link of this in the section in the description also i'll give you a link of the complete one if you need a complete spongy one which will fit all the sole of your shoe that will also do the purpose now second thing is this knee strap or knee guard this is a very basic one of course you can purchase very good one so the benefit of knee strap is because on the outdoor surface the uh, surface is not really spongy so you get uh, a jerk on your knee and that can destroy your knee you may experience a bit of pain so to do that you can wear this knee cap that will he help your purpose you can wear these two i'll also give you a link of these in the description of course you can buy any one any basic one or also very there are very good ones also so you can buy them as well plus in the outdoor court the conditions i think uh, if you are playing on the outdoor court there is no ac so if you are doing a lot of hard work you may sweat a lot and if you sweat the sweat from your hands will go to the grip of the racket and that will make it very very frisbee so you may also throw your racket to the ground or you may accidentally hit it on the ground so to ignore that or to just uh, take away this uh, condition you just need to wear this sweat band so you need to have this sweat band this is a very basic one of course i'll give you a link in the description so when this sweat this comes to this part like you are playing this won't go to this part so you can grip your racket very nicely and also if you are very sweaty from the hands so what you can do is this is your racket okay and you can apply a towel grip to it i've seen many outdoor uh, outdoor players they sweat a lot and they don't have don't have any options so what you need to do is you can apply a towel grip and towel grip will cost you 100 to 150 rupees and if you think your towel grip gets really really you can say uh, tight after the sweat and also you can uh, just uh, place it in the sun and you need to buy this grip powder I'll also give you a link of this powder. This is the very basic one, very cheapest one. This costed me just 100 rupees. So what you need to do is, this will only work on the 
toggle grip you just need to apply like this okay this is a, a plastic grip uh, it won't work on this but this will work on the toggle grip and you can apply like this so it won't sweat so actually uh, if you are not really comfortable with this uh, sweat band so you can remove this and you can apply a toggle grip and then the grip powder you can do anything last but not the least i understand what is the pain of getting your racket frame damaged like this on the outdoor court so this is my outdoor racket only and you know what if this is the condition of your racket what is the problem the problem is that you will shorten the life of your frame and it may break one day also uh, if this part is greased so these strings they are also in danger you can also break them so to tackle this problem you need to have this black tape okay and first we need to open this which is a hard task i think so we open this and what you need to do is you just apply this tape you can start from this corner you can start from this corner to this corner i mean you can like this don't cover the strings actually just cover the pa uh, uh, the frame of this racket uh, like this okay and just place it out of the string or you can also place it over the string if you want that's not a problem like this also so it will save your frame only this part okay just apply tape to this part so you won't damage your racket don't do it on whole of the part of the racket that is not recommended but on the upper part so like uh, the problem is when you hit a drop shot and if you're lifting so the problem is it grease away on the ground that is a big problem so to tackle that this is recommended you can do this to save the uh, life of the frame so these are all the things the the must have things which you need to have when you are playing outdoor badminton so hope you like my video if you have any suggestion please drop a comments in the sections or please dm me on instagram so i can improve my video uh, also guys i am trying to learn editing so to make my videos a bit informative for you as well so stay tuned for that part also for my editing part i'll surely come up with that and stay tuned for more of my videos as of now bye bye